recognition given to veterans who have served New Zealand so well. This comprehensive package is part of the government's formal response to the Law Commission's review of the Law Pensions Act 1954. It includes new and updated legislation to replace the War Pensions Act, increasing the eligibility for support services such as home health, which will benefit up to uh, 3,000 more veterans and about 1,100 surviving spouses of partners, and a 5% increase to the War uh, Disablement Pension and Surviving Spouse Pension rates on top of the forecast CPI increase of 1.8%. This is a significant and meaningful commitment in what are difficult financial times. I'm proud to be part of a national league government that is honouring the sacrifice and commitment of those who have served our country. Just in terms of visitors, this week and next week I'll be welcoming a couple of international visitors uh, from Samoa, Prime Minister Tui Lapa and President Aquino of the Philippines. I'll hold bilateral talks with Prime Minister Tui Lapa on Wednesday. I visited Samoa uh, in August to mark the 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Friendship between our two countries, and I'm pleased to be hosting the Prime Minister on a return visit during this milestone year. Next Tuesday, I'll hold talks with President Aquino. This will be his first visit to New Zealand, and I'm delighted to be able to welcome him here, particularly as our countries share so many interests, including as members of regional forums such as APEC and the East Asian Summit. The ASEAN Australian New Zealand Free Trade Agreement offers many opportunities to increase two-way trade uh, with the Philippines. Discussions are expected to include how the two countries can collaborate further on dairy development. Just in terms of the House this week, the Government intends to pass the third reading to the Customs and Excise Tobacco Products Budget Measures Amendment Bill and the Commerce um, International Cooperation and Fees Bill. We also intend to make progress on the committee stage of the Legislation Bill and the first reading of the Education Amendment Act Bill. Uh, and the minimum wage start out on the Wednesday is of course on Members Day. In terms of my ministerial activity tonight, I'm at the RSA as I've said, tomorrow at caucus and question time, and Wednesday I'll be in Wellington, on Thursday I'm in Queenstown, Arrowtown, on Friday I'm in Christchurch. Next week Cabinet will be meeting on Tuesday due to Monday being Labor Day. Um, there'll be no post-Cabinet press conference because we're um, flying into